Hey guys, good evening. Thank you very much for joining and welcome to your class. Well, this is teacher Marcela and we're going to begin with our attendance list, okay? So if we're ready, don't forget to activate your camera, please. Cameras and also your name, just be careful that uh, you have your name as you have it on your TUI, okay? Y cuidado con los micrófonos también. Give me one second and let me open up the attendance. So we're going to begin and let's see, Alejandro Alberto Fuentes Lino. Alejandro Alberto Fuentes Lino. Eh, Carlos Isaac López Amaya. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carmen Aida Hernández. Claudia Lorena Salazar de Zamora. Present. Thank you. Eh, Delmi Saraceli López Portillo. Daisy Concepción Enríquez de Castañeda. Dora Elsie Morales Rivas. Presente. Thank you. Edgar Antonio Morán. Edith Francisca Flores de Lebrón. Here. Thank you. Eh, Fernando Antonio Romero Sorto. Okay. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Samuel Martínez Claros. Here. Thank you. Guadalupe del Carmen Artero de Pet. Present. Thank you. Eh, Hugo Ernesto Flamenco Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Y Melda Saraí Janes Vázquez. Here. Thank you. Jacqueline Joana Ortiz Durán. Eh, Juan Carlos Santos Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eh, Lorena Dinora Rosa Ávalos. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Lorena. Eh, give me one second. Lisbeth Celatiel Rodríguez Jarquín. Present. Thank you. María Consuelo Hernández Velázquez. María Jasmín Abrego Bolaños. María Jasmín. Ok, María Luisa Quiñones Bola. No. Ma... Estoy cruzando nombres, permítame. Eh, María Jasmín Abrego Bolaños, no está, ¿verdad? María Luisa Quiñones Ríos. Present. Thank you. Eh, Marta Carolina Cerrato Gámez. Eh, no, Michelle Kimberly Hernández Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Noel Alvid Escobar Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Nuria Mercedes Quintana Mortán. I'm here. Thank you. Roberto de León Hernández. Present. Thank you. Roxana Beatriz Medrano de Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Sandra Carolina Fuentes de López. Walter Denis Torres Pérez. Y Jancy Herminia Moya García. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. So I hope I mentioned all of you guys. And well, again, welcome to your class and thank you very much for joining. So today is a continuation of what we started yesterday, right? And um, just let me start by sharing the screen with you. And for the ones that were not here yesterday, para los que no estuvieron, pues ayer nada más vimos como generalidades de las cosas que como vamos a estar trabajando durante el módulo. And probably what I'm going to do, um, quizás voy a compartir un poquito sobre eso a través de WhatsApp para no tener que eh, to go over again, right? All of those, all of that stuff. Eh, just give me one second. So pretty much what we did um, yesterday is to start with the introduction, right? And I was able to show you a little bit of the, uh, how can I say, the platform itself, right? So the platform itself and then we started talking a little bit about the requirements, right? Los requerimientos que necesitamos dentro del, del módulo en sí. 
one important thing uh, to mention, right, that most of us are here, and it's the fact that your attendance is very important, right? So assistencia is super importante. And uh, well, today is session number two, May the 18th. So every week, cada semana, every week, we're going to have four different sessions, right? So that's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and, and Thursday, right? So those four sessions are the ones that we're going to use to cover the topics. So las que vamos a usar para cubrir los temas dentro de la plataforma, okay? So yesterday I mentioned, verdad? Y pues esto es bien importante, lo menciono de nuevo. This is the way in which we're going to be working with our, um, I would say, um, material, right? Or the information that you will have available within, I mean, in the platform, right? So section one and two, we're going to work that during week one. Okay, semana uno, week one, week one, I'm sorry, we're going to be working with sections one and two. Week number two, that's going to be section three and the midterm exam. And then during week three, we're going to be working with section four. And at the end, right, during the last week of the module, we're going to be working with section five and the final exam, okay? Um, something very important, algo importantísimo que yo mencioné el día de ayer y pues lo vuelvo a mencionar. Eh, no olvidemos que el hecho que nosotros terminemos un jueves, ese es el último día para eh, terminar la plataforma. No, no es así. Les mencioné que debemos terminar casi que un viernes o un sábado, ¿verdad? Antes de la última semana para que ya aparezcan sus notas y se pueda mandar su inscripción para el siguiente mes. So yesterday we started talking a little bit about section number one and we went through the uh, conversation, right, about introducing yourself, about a you know, giving your name or providing your name to someone else. Then we talked a little bit about popular names and nicknames in the United States, right? And we were, you know, um, saying or, you know, talking a little bit about the equivalence of those names, but in Spanish, right? And then um, we moved on and we started talking a little bit about possessives. And we are going to continue talking about it. Vamos a seguir hablando de possessives, but you'll see, we're going to, we're going to go step by step, fast by fast. Uh, well, yesterday I was sharing with you a little bit on how you can um, match the information that we are, you know, reviewing in the class and the one that you have in the platform, right? Les mostré cómo ir viendo lo que vamos revisando acá y cómo se lo va a ir encontrando en la plataforma. So, these are some examples that you got from the video. Esto está en el video, pues, de la plataforma, right? And it, the um, instructor, right? The instructor was explaining a little bit of the um, subject pronouns, right? And how we use them. And also, they, uh, he mentions, right, a little bit on possessive forms. And there you have some examples. And yesterday, also during the class, we um, talk a little bit about it. Then I was uh, sharing with you each of the uh, possessive forms that we're going to be using with the pronouns, right? So in this case, for I is going to be my, for you is going to be your, for he is going to be his, right? If it is a woman, it's different. But if it is a man, right, that's going to be he, the possessive, I mean, the subject pronoun, and the possessive adjective, it's going to be he. And then, no, the, yeah, the possessive adjective. And then we have, um, if it is a woman, that's going to be the subject uh, pronoun she, and we're going to use her, right? But if we're talking about nosotros, right, we, we said that we're going to use our. And if we are talking about plural form, in this case, uh, they, right, that's gonna be their, so the ages, right? So this information I'm going to be sharing with you as well, a little bit on, um, you know, possessive adjectives and later on possessive pronouns too, okay? I was also saying, también mencioné el último que era it, verdad, que a veces se nos olvida mencionar, Bien útil, but 
we have it here, right? That's gonna be eat, it. And I was giving you uh, examples yesterday too, right? So it, lo utilizamos para pues, cosas, animales, ¿verdad? ideas, objetos, etc. So that's gonna be the one that we're going to be using. And we stopped in section 1.4, right? Section 1.4, it's a knowledge check. Al final de cada una de las pequeñas lecciones que tienen dentro de la plataforma, van a encontrar los knowledge check. Knowledge check is just to uh, measure, right, or to um, evaluate, right, the knowledge you got. Solamente es para medir y evaluar qué tanto comprendió esa sección. Son bien cortos, okay? And every time you see them here, cada vez que usted los ve acá, es que pues, es un recordatorio que ya hemos llegado a una parte en la que tenemos que trabajar dentro de la plataforma y que hay que terminar ese ejercicio específicamente. Ok, so that's what we did yesterday, lo que hicimos ayer. And then we're going to move on a little bit, right, and we're moving to 1.5, right? So by the end of this lecture, you will be able to spell your names and others, right? So we're going to try to practice a little bit I know that's going to be a little bit difficult. Va a ser un poquito difícil porque ustedes son bastantes también. And we're going to try to take advantage of the time. Vamos a ver si podemos aprovechar el tiempo. So, uh, spell, teletreo. Bueno, in your manuals, you will be able to find, you know, the alphabet there. As you know, it's just very, I mean, it's different from the one in the Spanish because we're missing just a couple of letters, ¿verdad? Es casi es lo mismo, solo que pues hey, ahí, ahí no está la letra ñ, por ejemplo, right? We don't have it in English, because actually they don't use it. Eh, bueno, hace mucho nosotros incluíamos la LG, que es la doble L, right? So we don't have that in, in the uh, English alphabet. And that's why we have it in that way. So it says listen and practice, and then it says then practice with your own names. Make a list of your classmates' names, but we're going to do it in a different way. Vamos a hacer ejercicio de letreo, pero una forma distinta, okay? So as you know, right, we're going to practice a little bit with the alphabet. And one thing, una cosa más, eh, con respecto al alfabeto, son los sonidos del alfabeto, right? En realidad es el sonido que nosotros le vamos a dar a cada una de las representaciones que están ahí. Entonces, we have to be careful with that. En inglés, pues, dependiendo de cómo va acompañada esa letra, pues eso es como nosotros la vamos a pronunciar también. But right now we're going just to check the basic pronunciation, right, of the uh, alphabet. Okay? So, just for you to listen to, right? Probablemente ustedes ya lo escucharon dentro de la plataforma. But I'm going to do it one more time. So we begin with the letter A. As you know, we have also the um, the vowels, right? We're going to classify them in two different groups right now. Okay? Tenemos acá consonants. Oops, perdón. Consonants y tenemos vowels, right? So vowels are going to be A, P, I, O, U. And then, well, as you know, the consonants letters will be the rest. Todo el resto, pues, eso van a ser las consonantes. But vowels, we have five, as we do in, I mean, Spanish, right? So, A, E, I, O, U, right? So, um, we're going to, I'm going to give you a, a, a tip. Let's have it. Um, I'm going to give you just um, an example on how you can remember the vowels. Si sí, pues puedo decir cuál es la, el problema más grande de la, del alfabeto a veces son las vocales, ¿verdad? Porque siempre en vez de decir eh, e, I, digo E, right? En vez de decir E, digo I, etc., right? So, just give me one moment. A, E, I, O, U. I'm going to share with you through the chat one song that probably you can use in order for you to remember the the, uh, the vowels, right? Okay. 
Okay. There you go. I'm going to open the chat. Eh, para que usted lo escuche después, ¿verdad? No, ahorita, por supuesto. So, that song tiene el nombre de las, de las tiene todas las letras, ¿verdad? A, E, I, O, I, O, U. Very good. So, spelling is very important. El derecho es súper importante. ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque, bueno, en nuestros trabajos creo que va a ser algo bien útil. Especialmente cuando nosotros tenemos, pues, relaciones con otras empresas, ¿verdad? Que donde la persona, pues, habla bien poco español. So, el deletreo es spelling that's going to be a very, very useful tool. Una, es algo súper útil. Okay, so then we have the rest of the letters, right? And we go like this. That's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Now, el nombre, digámoslo así despacito de la W o W, como la decimos en español, es W, right? El nombre de la W, solo que en inglés se dice super hiper mega rápido. That's why sometimes we cannot uh, understand how we say it. W, right? So W, W, right? W. Okay, W, right? So that's that's what I say, W. So uh, then probably, and then the vowels, right? So we got A, E, I, O, U. Now then we have also the different uh, the difference between the letter B and the letter B, right? So this is uh, um, this is a nosotros decimos en español la B labial, sin embargo, pues tenemos otras formas un poco más graciosas a veces de referirnos a esas dos letras en español, pero es la B labial. So, la B labial en este caso, pues es B. So, that means you use your upper lip and your lower lip and you put them together y los pones juntos. B, como en boy, right? Bubble, eh, break, right? Entonces, esa B es labial. That's why you use your upper lip, el labio de arriba, and the lower lip, y el labio de abajo. And you say B. And then you have the other one, que nosotros, como les digo, cómicamente a veces le decimos de esta forma, pero la forma correcta de llamarla es la B labidental. La B labidental es igual que en inglés, ¿verdad? Uso el labio de arriba, B, y lo presiono con la, con la parte de, de los dientes de abajo. Right, that's gonna be B. Love, right? Victor, Victoria, etc. Por eso es que nosotros en español no hacemos la diferencia. O sea, nosotros usamos la misma vela vial, incluso con palabras que comienzan con la vela vidental. Because it's a little bit difficult, right? To, you know, say the, the letter itself. Right, so that's gonna be for those letters. So, una es la vial, B, y la otra es la vidental, B. Right, B, V, right? So that's the difference between those two letters, right? And also, just about the vowels, guys, about the vowels, just pay attention to these two, right? Okay, these are two complete different uh, letters, right? So that's gonna be uh, A, I, A, I, right? I used to say to uh, kids, right, on it, estoy en algún momento en, en, con, con chiquitos, siempre les decía yo, esta es la letra, les digo yo, que siempre les va a recordar cuando ustedes se caen. I, right, so I, me duele, I, right, so that's gonna be the letter I, es la letra I. Y, ¿verdad? Tenemos también la otra, en la que no confundimos, que es esta, so that's gonna be I, right, I, esa sí es I, the other one is I. Eh, what else, guys? Well, another one, if, vamos a ver, 
mencionar una más es esta. R, right? That's going to be R, R. Entonces, prácticamente, pues, es, es un trabajo que hace the tongue, la lengua, right? That's going to be R. You curl your tongue, right? Es como enrollar la lengua hacia adentro. That's going to be R, R. No es R, porque como a veces lo mencionamos, so that's going to be R. And then, well, that's it about the alphabet, right? So you already got it. And I'm going to delete all my drawings. And we're going to move on. Eh, no sé si ya les mandaron, chicos, la, el, el comprobante de que ustedes ya aceptaron el manual. Pero para los que no estuvieron ayer, pues el manual usted lo encuentra dentro de la plataforma y está en la sección Students Manual P1. You download it if you want, right? Lo puede descargar, lo puede imprimir, o lo puede guardar en su drive, o lo puede descargar en su dispositivo y lo tiene disponible para la clase. Mi recomendación es siempre tenerlo disponible durante la clase porque usted ahí va anotando o haciendo referencia de hasta dónde hemos llegado dentro de la plataforma. Uh, so, we're going to have some spelling practice very quickly, okay? With the spelling practice, right, um, we're going to do it like this. I'm going to uh, say the name, yo voy a decir el nombre, right, and you help me. Ahorita, antes de pasar a los nombres, si gusta, ahí donde esté, sin activar su micrófono, voy a decir una vez más el alfabeto, usted lo menciona también, y luego vamos a hacer el spelling practice, okay? So that's going to be A, B, C, G, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Right, Z. It sounds like a B. Oh, no. Um, no. Z. Right, that's going to be Z. Very good. So please help me. Uh, if you want to participate, you can raise your hands. Si quiero participar, por levantar la mano. I'll make sure. Me aseguraré de poner atención bien a las, a las manos. Okay? Y si no, pues no se preocupe. Yo digo los nombres. No hay problema. Okay. Very good. So, Dora, are you there, Dora? Dora? Hola. Hi, Hola. Dora. Okay. Can you Hello. help me spell in this word? Hi. ¿Me puede ayudar a deletrar esta palabra? Pillow. P mm -hmm. I L O W. Very good. Excellent, right? So what is the meaning of pillow? Does anyone know? What's the meaning of pillow? Almohada. That's correct, right? You can say almohada, right? Or Bueno, si decimos esto en español también un cojín, right? That's going to be a pillow. Very good. Thank you very much, Dora. Imelda? Can you please help me with this one? Island. I-S-L-A-M-D. Island. Island. Very good. Right? So that's a correct pronunciation, right? No decimos Iceland, porque esa es otra palabra que significa otra cosa. Mm -hmm. Es island. Right? Thank you very much. So let me see Edgar. Are you here? Edgar Moran? Is Edgar here? Porque me aparece en la lista, pero... Okay, Perdón. hi. Don't worry, it's okay. Just give me one second. Let me fix something here very quick. Thank you. So, please help me with the next word. Sidewalk. Fíjense que no le escuchamos. Perdón, no sé si si tiene activado su micrófono. Edgar? 
nos puede ayudar, por favor, eh, deletreando la palabra que está en la pantalla? Sidewalk. Edgar. Eh, aparece como apagado el micrófono del teacher. Sí, así se ve. Eh, Pero ahí está. Hoy sí ya lo escuchamos. Gracias. No sé, se oye como. Sí, ah. se escucha cortado. Ok, so I'm going to pass, pass it to someone else. Eh, Hugo, Hugo Flamenco, are you here? Yes. Thank you. So please help me with um, spelling the word that you have on the screen. Sidewalk. S I D E W A L K. Sidewalk. Thank you very much. Right. So don't forget that whenever we have this type of words, right? For example, in this case, we can have a walk. We can have talk, etc. Right. That's gonna be a nail that is silent, right? Muy bien. Usted, eh, don't forget that. Él lo hizo excelente, solamente es un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Cuando tenemos palabras como esta, como walk and talk, sabemos que la L que va allí es silent. Por lo tanto, es como que si esa L no estuviera ahí. That's walk, talk, etc. Right? Muy bien. Thank you very much. So, let's continue. Alejandro Lima. Alejandro. Lino? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Hi. Can you please help me with the next okay. word? Oh, por cierto, what's the meaning of sidewalk? Sidewalk. ¿Qué, qué significa sidewalk? Acera. acera. Muy bien, es la acera, right? Very good. Excellent. Now, what about the next word? ¿Me ayuda a deletrearla, por favor, Alejandro? Evening. A B A N I and J. Okay, let's go ahead and check. So we got the first letters and those are the vowels, right? En las vocales, vamos a ver. Yo las escribo, se me las dice. Okay, can you tell me the vowels, Alejandro? Dígame las vocales que veo, por favor. I, A, ¿Cuál es esta? Perdón. Uh -huh. hey. Muy bien. ¿Esta? Hey. No, esta es la de... It's E, right? E. Mm. Uh -huh. This one? I. Uh -huh. O. Uh -huh. You. Very good. Ahora veamos acá. Si esas son las vocales, ¿me podría deletrear nuevamente la palabra? A, D. No, es I. I. I, B, I, N, I, N, J. It's G, right? G. G. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Alejandro, right? So actually, the pronunciation of this, of this letter since it is a vowel, that's going to be E, right? And this one is G, right? And then uh, we got J. Creo que ahí fue donde se confundió. J, it's a different letter, right? And that's going to be this one. This one is J, right? E this, and this one is G, right? J, G. So that, those are two different letters. Thank you very much, Alejandra. And let's move. Uh, Claudia Salazar, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Claudia. Please help me with the next word. Okay. Exercise. Exercise. Mm -hmm. E X E R C I S E. Exercise. Thank you very much. Thank you, um, Claudia. Now let's move on. Delmis Araceli, are you here? Delmis? I'm here. Hi. Okay, Hi. very good. Please help me with the next word. It's very, very, very easy, right? That's going to be table. Okay. T A B L I. 
No, la última, la última. Very good, excellent. Okay, that's going to be table. Thank you very much, Debbie. It's very kind. Now, what about the next one? Uh, that's going to be for uh, Guadalupe de Perez. Guadalupe, the next word is going to be Frito. Uh -huh. Are you Mm -hmm. Ok, we're going to do it one more time. Vamos a ver una vez más porque casi no lo escuché. I Ok, thank you very much. That's going to be I, right? I, and this one is L, L, right? So, Riddle. Thank you very much, Guadalupe. What is the meaning of riddle, guys? What is the meaning of riddle? Acertijo. Acertijo, adivinanza, right? That's going to be riddle. Mm -hmm. Very good. The next one, it's going to be for Michelle Hernandez, Michelle Kimberly. Michelle Kimberly, please help me with the next word. And you have it <coughs> up there, right? Which is this one. Easy, right? Can you please help me? Are you there? Uh, Kimberly? Present? Yes, can you please help me? No veo la frase. Es esta que está acá? Permítame. Easy. E I S La yes me olvidado. Okay, so this one is E, this one is A, right? It's A, a. Uh -huh. and this one is a. Y. Y. Okay. Repeat it one more time. Una vez más. E, I, A, 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 is, E, Y, Y, E, A, S, S, Y. Very good. Thank you very much, Kimberly. Very kind. So let's continue with the next one, and that's going to be for Lorena Rosa. Please, can you help me with the next word? And you have it down here. It's understand. Understand. Yes, say me. Understand. Mm -hmm. O M D E F D R F P I M D. Okay. Can you please uh, repeat the solo las vocales, por favor? This one. E. And this one. I. Is A. A. Right. I'm sorry. Don't I. worry. It's okay. Una vez más. O. Oh. O. No. U. 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 M. D. E. R. S. T. A. M. D. Very good. Thank you very much, Lorena. Very kind. Now, let's continue with the next one. Uh, let me see. Please help me, Nuria Quintana. Nuria, and your word is going to be this one you have here. ¿Qué palabra, teacher? Perdón. It's down below. It's English. <laughs> here. Okay. E N G L I S H. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Nuria. Very kind. 
And I have plenty. Tengo un montón. Así que esta vez sí necesito pues alguien que ya participante. ¿verdad? Ya dije algunos nombres. Ahora I need you to uh, raise your hand if you want to participate so we can move quicker, right? So let me see who wants to uh, spell some of the words. Thank you, Imelda. Imelda, the next word is going to be this one, 19. N Here. I M E T E E M. Thank you very much. Okay, someone else? Alguien más? The word is going to be origami. Origami. Maria Hernandez? Origami. Okay, ahorita. O, or, er, or, no sé. R. R. Mm -hmm. eh, I, G, R. R. I, G, A, M, I. Excellent. That's going to be origami. Thank you very much, Maria Roxy. Okay. Roxana, eh, century. Century. Sí, no la escuchamos. Century. Yes, century. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. here. C-E-N-T-U-R-Y. Okay. Mm -hmm. Century. Thank you very much. The next word is cousin, right? Dora, can you help me please? Cousin. Hola. Hi. Sí. Sí. O. U. S. I. N. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dora. Okay. And I'm going to stop it here. Voy a tenerme acá. As you can see, I have many words like vegetable, right? So I'm going to spell them for you. Y ustedes desde ahí, pues con sus micrófonos apagados, acompáñenme para que no se escuche todo. No escuchemos todo de un solo, right? But this is going to be B E G E T A B L E. Vegetable, right? And then we got the next word, which is remember. R E M E M B E R. Remember. Oops, the next word is going to be flower. Flower. That's going to be F L O W E R. Flower. Then we got tomorrow. T O M O R R. O W tomorrow. Zebra. Z E B R A. Zebra. Oh, and I have plenty of more like ninja, to ceiling, heart, improvement, etc. Right? So, what is the meaning of improvement, by the way? What is the meaning of improvement? This word. Mejorar. This word. Improvement es un nombre. El verbo improve es mejorar. Muy bien. Pero improvement okay. es un nombre. Sería mejora, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Puedo unir las dos cosas. El, el verbo con el noun. Excelente. Thank you very much. And then, what about ceiling? What's ceiling? What is the meaning of ceiling? Es el techo, pero en la parte de adentro, como el cielo falso, por ejemplo, es el cielo. Very good. So, guys, well, after this, right, we got, we moved to sections 1.7, digamos, al 1.7 dentro de la plataforma, lo que significa que, pues, durante la semana usted tiene que avanzar todo lo que pueda para que podamos terminar estas dos sesiones. Now, um, then, right, we got, oops, we got also, uh, more information about spelling, etc. Right? 
Now guys, for this particular uh, section, right, está una sección en, la, en el 1.7 en donde usted tiene un spelling practice, ¿verdad? Dentro de la plataforma. Eh, yo pues lo que siempre recomiendo es tratar de hacer esos ejercicios. A algunos los hacen, a otros no, pero cuando son cosas de foros, etcétera, yo pues siempre recomiendo que mejor ingrese y que los trabaje. ¿Qué más? Bueno, we're going to move to 1.8, right? So in 1.8, we're going to be talking a little bit about Verbi, right? Eh, Verbi, it's a very interesting topic. Eh, pues es un, es un verbo a veces un poco caprichoso, un poco menos complicado, y no solo en español. ¿no? Porque dice que en español para nosotros el verbo ser o estar también es irregular. So in English it's the same, right? So um, we're going to use it for both. Usamos para ambos, para ser o estar. And uh, for you to have a better understanding on verb be, es importante saber también cómo funciona en español. ¿verdad? Sabemos que en español, pues, se conjuga de acuerdo a la persona. Sabemos que no generalmente, pues, seguimos un patrón. Es completamente irregular, ¿verdad? Digo, yo estoy, ella es, él es, ellos son, ¿verdad? ustedes son, etc. So it's not the same for everyone. So the same happens in English. It means what you said in English. Y pues yo personalmente prefiero llamarle al verbo to be the independent guy, right? Es el chico independiente. ¿Por qué? Porque puede ser, se puede utilizar en forma afirmativa, negativa y pregunta. Now, verb be, así como se los dije anteriormente, pues a veces resulta un poco, eh, un poco caprichoso, pero media vez nosotros sepamos cuáles son las tres formas que tenemos disponibles para utilizarlo y con quiénes lo vamos a utilizar Ahí está todo. So the lesson objective for this particular section, which is 1.8, uh, is by the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements and questions using the verb be. Cuando nosotros usamos la, la palabra statements, statements, estamos hablando de oraciones, ¿verdad? O en este caso, clausulas, right? Dígame, Imelda. I have a question. Sí, yeah. What is the difference between using statements and using sentences? No difference at all. You can go okay. ahead and use the same. Huh? Probably what I would say is that probably statements, it's more formal, right, than sentences. However, if you want to make sure, what I always do is that I type it, difference between sentence and okay. statements, right? So every time you have a question, you just can use uh, this. Okay, it thank says you. a sentence, you're welcome. It says a sentence is a group of words that usually have a subject, verb and information about the subject. Remember, a sentence can be a statement, question or command, right? So a statement is a basic fact or opinion and blah, 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 it continues, right? So pretty much what it says here, is that a sentence can be the statement, but when it comes to statement, it can become, it can be a question or it can be a command. Not only okay. specifically one sentence, but if you want, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share with you the link so you can go ahead and review it later, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, just give me one second. I'm going to share it through the chat and there you have, okay? If you want, you can click it right now or you can check it later. And there you will be able to find the difference between centers. Well, it's not the difference. It's just that they mean almost the same, but it's up to you the way you want to use this. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, well, as I was saying, right, since we're talking about B and this is a very independent guide, we're going to check it in the three different forms, right? So we're going to have the positive form, the negative form, and the question form. So, um, also, uh, it's important that you start working with patterns, right? Because actually that will help you a lot. Les va a ayudar mucho trabajar con eh, los patrones o las estructuras en sí, cuáles son los elementos que deben de llevar y qué es lo que deben incluir para que sus oraciones estén correctas, right? So, here we have the present simple of the verb be, right? As you can see, I have included the elements right, that you need to um, uh, include in your sentences, but you have to make sure that you're using the proper way, I mean, the proper um, 
form of the verb be with each of the subject pronouns. Teacher, what are the subject pronouns? Well, as you know, the subject pronouns are the ones that we have already mentioned at the beginning of the class, right? Which is I, you, he, she, it, um, it, we, you, you, and they, okay? Now remember that we have two, two times the subject pronoun you because one of them is singular and the other one is plural, right? So this one is singular and this one is plural. That's the reason why we got two. So the name for these words is subject pronouns. So no subject pronouns, right? This is the subject pronouns. Um, son los que vamos a utilizar dependiendo de la, de la persona de la, a la que nos estemos refiriendo, right? So, um, if we know that we have three different forms or three different ways in expressing the verb be, all what we have to do is use the, the right one, right? So, I know that if I have over here, if I have am, is, and are, I'm going to use it with different subject pronouns, right? So if I have I, I know that's gonna be the only one, right, that will help me to use this one, right? And if it is the second thing, this is the second person singular, that's gonna be are, right? That's gonna be the third person singular, so we're going to use is, and so on, right? We're going to continue just um, using the right way I mean, the right form of the verb be with each of the subject pronouns. So, but that's a tricky, right? It's a little bit tricky. Porque nosotros esperamos ver el I, you, el he, el she, etc. en todas las oraciones, pero no va a ser así, not all the time, right? So we have to make sure that we understand a little bit on singular nouns and plural nouns, okay? Entonces, los subject pronouns me van a ayudar a mí a identificar cuál es la forma del verbo to be que yo voy a necesitar, que yo necesito utilizar. ¿verdad? Entonces, si yo voy a sacar acá un resumen, pues va a ser así de siempre. Voy a utilizar am con I, voy a utilizar is, ¿verdad? Con he, con she, con it, y pues voy a utilizar are con you, oops, con you, con we, y con they. Dicho y solo con esos, no. No, because uh, sometimes we forget to include this, right? También el is lo voy a utilizar con singular nouns. Y pues, are lo voy a utilizar con plural nouns. Ok, ¿cómo así, teacher? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Bueno, como les mencionaba anteriormente, yo espero a veces encontrar en mis oraciones un I, un she, un we, etc pero no siempre va a ser así. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo quiero dar ejemplos sobre singular nouns, yo puedo decir Mary. ¿Por qué es un singular noun, teacher? Porque no estoy utilizando ni, ni ningún subject pronoun, pero si yo quiero utilizar uno, va a ser she. ¿Qué otro? Bueno, yo puedo decir Mike. Mike y su subject pronoun va a ser he. O yo puedo utilizar, oops, perdón, the cell phone, right? Oops. The cell phone. Y pues, su so subject pronoun va a ser it. ¿Verdad? Y, por ejemplo, si yo quiero usar plural nouns, o si yo quiero utilizarlo con plural nouns, I can say, for example, students, right? Students. Y su subject pronoun va a ser they. ¿Verdad? O puedo decir, por ejemplo, uh, markers, right? Marcadores. Y pues su subject pronoun va a ser they, etc. Entonces, no siempre van a estar de, de esa forma con su subject pronoun, sino que algunas veces van a estar solo como nouns. And we have to make sure that we're going to use the proper um, verb be, right, we, with each of the um, subjects that we have in that sentence, right? Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Questions so far? Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la plataforma? ¿Algún ejercicio que no hayan podido realizar? 
o algún ejercicio que les haya dado problema. Ninguno. Ok. Eh, con respecto a la plataforma, chicos, teacher, ¿qué es lo que tengo que yo haber finalizado para antes del viernes? Para antes del viernes yo tengo que haber finalizado la sección 1 y la sección 2 completas. Eh, ¿Por qué hasta antes del viernes, teacher? Porque las preguntas ustedes me las traen acá. Entonces, generalmente esa pregunta yo la hago al principio, después de los primeros 15 minutos, porque a veces me traen la pregunta al final y lamentablemente ya no la puedo contestar porque pues ya los salones o las, los salones de conferencia se utilizan para la otra clase. Recuerden que aquí hay clases de 6 a 7, de 7 a 8, de 8 a 9 y de 9 a 10, entonces no nos podemos quedar después de la hora. Pero este, siempre después de los primeros 15 minutos yo hago la pregunta para que durante ese tiempo ¿verdad? yo poder contestar las preguntas y pues tiene que estar relacionada por supuesto a lo que, a lo que estamos viendo acá. El día de mañana, eh, pues ya que pasamos la segunda clase, yo envío información adicional. Pero desde ya quiero decirles, los links que yo les comparto a través de WhatsApp son de ustedes. Usted los hace si usted quiere y si no, no hay ningún problema. Solamente los comparto para todo aquel que quiera avanzar o para todo aquel que quiera practicar, ¿verdad? No tiene que enviarme ningún resultado. Esos ejercicios se califican solos. Y ahí le va a decir a usted cuáles son los que salieron buenos y los que salieron malos. Y si salieron malos, pues analizar por qué y lo vuelvo a hacer hasta que me salgan correctamente. Así de que esos links, como les digo, no son tareas, sino que es información adicional que yo busco, yo lo selecciono y yo pues digo, este, yo sé, este ejercicio siento que va, va a ser útil, por eso se lo voy a mandar. Entonces, that's going to be for tomorrow. Eh, las preguntas de la plataforma pues las atendemos aquí durante la clase. Usted anota el ejercicio de la, del, um, de le, sí, anota el ejercicio de la sección en la que usted tiene la dificultad y lo resolvemos aquí. Dígame, Hugo. Yo solo una consulta con, con respecto a este, al, al subject pronoun. Sí. You, singular, y you, plural. No sé cuál es la, la diferencia. Okay, it's the same. Oh, well. in, in, in Spanish, it's different, right? That's why. In español lo usamos de forma distinta. Por ejemplo, eh, es tú, ahorita, en la clase. Yo puedo venir y, le puedo, y puedo decir, y puedo preguntar lo siguiente. How are you today? Y yo puedo hacer la pregunta, how are you today? Y de repente, pues, me, va, me van a contestar todos. Fine, teacher, great. Oh, I'm doing fine. Well, so, so. Entonces, la pregunta yo la hice en general. How are you today? ¿Cómo están ustedes el día de hoy? Pero si yo vengo y estoy platicando solo con usted, y le pregunto, hey, how are you today? Y usted me contesta, I'm fine, teacher, thank you. Entonces, la pregunta fue solo para usted. How are you today? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo estás tú? Right? That's the difference. Es el tú o usted en español es el singular y el ustedes en español es el plural. You. That's it. No sé si contestas okay. su pregunta. Sí, ok. ¿Alguien más que tenga alguna pregunta? No questions. Ok. So, let me say this. Ay, cómo va a hablar esto. Ah, sí. Okay, so, well, that's going to be uh, about the uh, generalities, right, about the verb, the verb be. Since we are already, you know, um, talking about the verb be, most likely by tomorrow, I'm going to be um, uh, going to be sharing with you, right, some links too, so we can, you can practice a little bit with the verb be. So I'm going to clear all my drawings, and here you have, aquí lo tienes, right, so this is verb be. And this is like the formula or the pattern that you have to follow, right? So for my affirmative sentences, for my soluciones afirmativas, I'm going to use, well, I'm going to need a subject, right? After that, I'm going to, oops, give me a second, I'm going to need also the verb be, right? So that's gonna, that could be am, is, or are. Cualquiera de los tres, am, is, or are, and then I'm going to need a complement. Then, for my negative statements, I'm going to need my subject, past, the verb be in negative, in this case, I'm not, isn't, and aren't. 
right? And also you're going to need a company as well. And then we have the third part, which is for the question form, right? So you got the verb B, M, is, and R, right? So M, is, and R plus the subject plus complement plus the question mark. But aquí es donde hay un switch, right? There's a switch. And this switch occurs between the verb B and the subject. Ya no tenemos el subject al principio, sino que toma un segundo lugar, right? And then it comes after the verb B. Y luego pues tenemos, oops, perdón. Luego pues tenemos WH words. Now, Tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that I'm will, I will, uh, that I include um, the difference between some just not questions and information questions. Y esa parte de las preguntas es bien importante saberlo desde un principio, porque estamos hablando de dos preguntas. Si yo utilizo esta fórmula, solamente verb B, subject, complement, and question mark, entonces yo estoy haciendo yes or no questions. Pero si ya vengo yo y e incluyo una WH word como where, what, when, why, etc., who, cualquiera de esas, right? Entonces ya, no, ya se convierte en una yes, I mean information question, en una information question. So tomorrow we're going to make sure that we're going to check the difference between the two of them. And we're going to, you know, uh, probably uh, share with you some examples. Now, right now, let's go ahead and very quickly give one example for each of the different uh, sections that we have. So if I'm going to have a positive statement, I can say, I am, I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. The computer is very fast. And then I can say, I am not a doctor. Right? Or I can say the computer isn't. Oops. It's not very fast. And then, no me voy a hacer a mí misma la pregunta porque soy un poco raro. So, are you a teacher? Is the computer fast? Right? Entonces, si ustedes se fijan, aquí están las estructuras, right? Si yo lo quiero comprobar, bueno, acá tengo mi subject, tengo el verb be, y tengo mi complemento. Lo mismo acá, acá tengo mi subject, que es de computer, verb be, y luego tengo mi complemento, right? Entonces, es lo que les decía, aquí no está it, it is very fast, aquí está the computer. Y como yo sé que los singular nouns van con verb be is, entonces por eso estoy utilizando this. Y luego, pues para las negativas, ¿verdad? Está la parte de acá, me sucede lo mismo. Tengo mi subject, tengo mi verb be in negative, y tengo mi complement. Lo mismo acá, tengo mi subject, de computer, right? Tengo verb be in negative, y tengo mi complement. Very fast. Para las preguntas que están acá. Me dice acá que yo necesito primero mi, mi verb be, right? Then I need my subject. And then I need my complement, right? Y pues con eso compruebo que las oraciones están correctas. So that's what we have to do. We have to make sure that we're following the right formula, the right pattern, which is, which is with each of the sentences. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, very good. So I'm going to uh, stop here. Voy a pasar la lista rapidito y luego les. You are dismissed very quickly. Um, Tuesday is the 18th. Very good. Alejandro Alberto Fuentes Tim. Present. Thank you. <coughs> eh, Carlos Isaac López Amaya. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carmen Aida Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eh, Claudia Lorena Salazar de Zamora. Present. Thank you. Delmis Araceli López Portín. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Concepción Enríquez de Castañeda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Dora Elsie Morales Rivas. Present. Thank you. 
eh, Edgar Antonio Morán. Present. Thank you. Eh, Eddie Francisca Flores de Lebron. Present. Thank you. Present. Fernando Antonio. Thank you. Fernando Antonio eh, Romero Sorto. Present. Thank you. Francisco Samuel Martínez Flores. Present. Guadalupe del Carmen Artero de Pérez. Present. Thank you. Hugo Ernesto Flamenco Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Imelda Saraí Janes Vázquez. Thank you. Allá, ah, yeah, no lejos escuché un I'm here. Eh, Jacqueline Joana Ortiz Durán. Jacqueline? No. Eh, Juan Carlos Santos Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eh, Present. Yeah. Thank you very much. Eh, Lisbeth Celatiel Rodríguez Jarquín. Eh, Present. Thank you. Lorena. Thank you. Lorena Dinora Rosa Abel. Thank you. María Consuelo Hernández Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Eh, María Jazmín Abrego Bolaños. María Luisa Quillones Ríos. Present. Thank you. Marta Carolina Cerrato Gámez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Michelle Kimberly Hernández Enrique. Present. Thank you. Eh, Noel Albi de Escobar Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Nuria Mercedes Quintana Montano. Present. Thank you. Roberto de León Hernández. Thank you. Thank you. Roxana Beatriz Medrano de Mendoza. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Sandra Carolina Fuentes de López. Present. Thank you. Walter Dennis Torres Pérez. Y Jancy Herminia Moya García. Okay. So guys, thank you very much for joining today. And tomorrow we're going to continue with the same information. Now, si usted puede, traiga mañana cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta que tenga con la sección 1 y 2 de la plataforma. Si usted ya se adelantó, que ya me ha pasado, no importa, tráigame siempre las preguntas que siempre las vamos a contestar. Eh, vaya contestando de acuerdo a lo que usted va entendiendo. Si se encuentra uno que con el que usted no puede trabajar porque no lo ha comprendido bien, entonces me lo trae para acá mañana durante la clase y aquí lo vamos a resolver en vivo. Okay, así que thank you very much for joining. Lo felicito por su puntualidad y porque tenemos casa llena. Así que thank you very much. Have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye guys. Thank you. Take care. You're welcome. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.